single most exciting book parcel I have ever received. It's possible. Hi guys, it's Leanne and welcome back for a very, very special video. A very highly anticipated video. At least by me, you guys have no idea what's going on yet, but I'm getting there. You may recognise the title of this video from the wonderful, the marvellous Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts' channel. This is a series that Jean does wherein she and another booktuber that she really, really loves swap book hauls. Jean will curate some books that she thinks are perfect for that booktuber and that booktuber will return the favour and then they will receive the packages and they will open them blind with no idea what's inside. Not only a perfectly curated book parcel to my individual tastes, but a surprise. What more could you possibly want? Well, first of all, you might want to know a little bit about Jean. I have known Jean for a really long time, like seven or eight years now, the better part of a decade. And she remains one of my favorite people in the world. I have watched her over the last seven or eight years transform herself into this smart, graceful, capable person that I kind of want to be when I grow up. Even though, you know, there may be the technicality of already being older than her. <laughs> Can I at least have her hair? Doesn't seem like much to ask. Honestly, I love this segment of these videos where you get to just unashamedly gush about a person that you really, really like because I have so much to say. Jean is one of the smartest people that I know. She is currently doing a PhD in classical literature and she brings all of that energy to her channel. You know when you find a booktuber who has a niche interest and somehow that niche interest becomes yours and you become dearly devoted to every one of their videos about it? That's me with Greek myth. And only Jean could do that. I've always found myself as a fantasy reader quite embarrassed about not knowing more about Greek and Roman myths because that's where a lot of our fantasy tales started. It's the origin of a lot of fairy tales and a lot of folklore. It's in all of our literature and I have such a limited knowledge. But Jean completely smashes through that. She makes her subject accessible. She decodes things that I've thought for the longest time, I just don't get that because I'm not smart enough. She is an amazing teacher because she teaches with encouragement and enthusiasm. Honestly, Jean is just so unapologetically hard across all of her social media platforms and I love that. Whether that's her passion for sustainability, her determination to make politics accessible, to everybody, her ever-evolving feminism, her body positivity, I just, she is on such an awesome personal journey and I love to see it. But bringing it back to books just for a second because <laughs> there's a package on my desk and I want to open it. I watch Jean's videos when I feel like I want to relax with a friend and have one of those conversations that starts at point A and then five hours later you find yourself at point X and you've come out with a list of things that you need to check out and the entire thing is just chatty and informal and cosy and enthusiastic that that is why I watch Jean's videos. I did a haul at the end of last month where and there was a whole section where I was just like Jean is responsible for this. You will be receiving a call from my bank manager. He is most perturbed. In fairness though I could make a new house out of all of the books that Jean has recommended me so you know if I lose this one. <laughs> one of the things that I love the most about Jean's channel right now is that she is really representing for LGBTQIA++++ inclusion in fantasy. We need that in the genre. We need people advocating for that and Jean is absolutely at the front of the line. She is obsessed with fantasy, just like me. She's a little bit more obsessed with dragons than I am, but that's all right, that's all right. I will be very shocked if there is not a dragon included book in this box, that's all I'm saying. And she is also a fellow Discworld lover, so I mean there are many things to recommend Jean. In all seriousness though, I really value my relationship with Jean. I love our friendship, I love being able to talk with her about anything. And in 10 years from now, I know that we will still be stupidly talking about books over wine. That bitch is important to me. Now, how does one get into this package? Am I in? Am I in? Oh. oh, there are three books in here. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, I can see the spine of one, so I'm going to go for that one first. Oh, this is The Majesties by Tiffany Zoe. 
Now, remember how I said like five minutes ago that I watched Jean's videos and I think to myself, I will make a list. This book is literally on a list. This book is on a to buy because of Jean list, so I'm really glad that I didn't do that. I am so excited and I actually know the premise of this one, like I remember the premise of it because I have just watched Jean talk about it. Let's see how many things that I can remember, okay? So I believe this takes place in China. One sister is in a coma, the sister whose point of view we get in this book, I think, and she overhears that she has been poisoned, that her whole family has been poisoned by her other sister and this book is kind of the, like the dark exploration of her thoughts after that. Let's see how well I did. <laughs> I told you so I was right. So we've got Gwendolyn and Estella, they are close as sisters can be but now Gwendolyn is lying in a coma, the sole survivor after Estella poisons their entire family. As Gwendolyn, ugh, sounds great, I'm so excited. As Gwendolyn struggles to regain consciousness, she desperately, as Gwendolyn struggles to regain consciousness, she desperately retraces her memories, trying to uncover the moment that led to such a horrifying act, inviting us into the opulent world of the Chinese Indonesian ugh, ultra elite. From its gilded exterior to its nightmarish core, The Majesties is a haunting novel about the dark secrets that can build a family empire and also bring it crashing down. I'm actually really proud of myself for remembering all of that. This is the thing I like to do when I get books into my house. Like when books first arrive in my house, I will often read the back of them and then the first line to Lovely Wife Helen. So let's read the first line. When your sister murders 300 people, you can't help but wonder why, especially if you were one of the intended victims. Though I do forgive her, if you can believe it. Have you ever? ever seen a more Leanne book. Jean, you did well girl, that is definitely one big check. Oh there's a spoiler slip, I'm not going to look at that until I'm finished. Oh these two are chunky, that one's like quite, it's quite slim but these two are chunky. Okay, right or left, right or left, right or left. Oh, <gasps> Dread Nation by Justina. Ireland. Jean has been absolutely obsessing about this book for a while now so I figure it is about time that I picked it up. Actually ironically again I know quite a lot about this one because not only the wonderful Jean but my podcast partner in crime Kirsty has been on at me to read this book for a while and weirdly this one seems more like a me book than it does a Jean book which makes me really excited because this book is horror and involves zombies and that's not Jean's natural stomping ground. Although she did recently say in a video that one of the things that she's always said is that she hated zombies and she hated zombie books and then actually she's read quite a few zombie books that she's liked. I believe... <laughs> this is gonna test my knowledge. Okay, I believe that this one is set after the American Revolution, maybe? And that zombies have become a problem and that black slaves are being used to protect white ladies of prominence like as a bodyguard. Let's check because that's all I can remember. Okay so trained at Miss Preston's School of Combat for Negro Girls in both weaponry and etiquette, Jane McKean is poised for a successful career protecting the wealthy from the encroaching plague of walking dead. But when families begin to go missing, Jane uncovers a conspiracy that pits her against some powerful enemies. Sent far from home, Jane will need all of her resourcefulness, wit and strength of character to survive. A powerful, compelling tale of a young woman's journey through a hostile world, Jane McKean is an unforgettable protagonist and Dread Nation is an unforgettable book. <laughs> a prologue in which I am born and someone tries to murder me. The day I came squealing and squalling into the world was the first time that someone tried to kill me. I guess it should have been obvious to everyone right then that I wasn't going to have a normal life. I am, I am so, I am so excited. I am so excited. Okay, so that was two absolute wins. Let's see what the last one is in the box. These are, this is really bad. One, two, three.
Oh, a good girl's guide to murder by Holly Jackson. Okay, I have seen this cover before. I know nothing about this book. I don't remember hearing Jean talk about this book. I know nothing about this. But let's let's just dive in because I'm too excited. Can I just say that I am very much enjoying the like true crime board with the string connecting the things on the cover of this. Ooh, a closed case, an A grade student who won't let it go. Well, that definitely sounds like something in my wheelhouse. Okay, so the case is closed. Five years ago, schoolgirl Andy Bell was murdered by Sal Singh. The police know he did it. Everyone in town knows he did it, but having grown up in the same small town that was consumed by the murder, Pippa Fitz Am Amobi? Fitz Amobi isn't so sure. When she chooses the case as the topic for her final year project, she starts to uncover secrets that someone in town desperately wants to stay hidden. And if the real killer is still out there, how far will they go to keep Pip from the truth? You have smashed it out of the park, Jean. This is such a Leanne sounding book. I have like never read the premise of this before. Oh wait, we haven't done the first line. Oh. And there's reports and stuff in the pages. Oh my god. Okay, so the first two pages are like mixed media transcripts. So let's go to the first actual line. Pip knew where they lived. Okay, let's do another line. Everyone in Little Kilton knew where they lived. Their home was like the town's one haunted house. People's footsteps quickened as they walked by and their words strangled and died in their throats. Can I read it now? Can I read it like right now? I am so excited. I am so excited. I don't think that Jean could have picked any more me books if she had tried. There's murder, there's poison, there's zombies and horror. Thank you so much to Jean for picking these marvellous books for me which are now going to be taking over my TBR for the month. <laughs> Even though you know I said that I didn't actually make one of those, I kind of like quietly made one of those. I, d I didn't put it online because I don't want to put any pressure on myself but I made, I made a little TBR for myself and I'm glad that I didn't put it online now because <laughs> If you would like to see which books that I picked for Jean, you can hop over onto her channel now because that video is live. And I am very chuffed that the things that I picked were Jean things. Like I know my girl, I, p I picked some good Jean books. So in the comments guys tell me, have you read any of these books? Do you think that they're very me books? How do you think Jean did? Let's let's tell her. Let's tell her how we think she did. And if you were going to do this, if you were going to pick a book bundle for me, if you were going to recommend me three very, very Leanne books, tell me what those would be. And you never know, I might do a subscribers pick my haul very soon. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more of my face. And for another, um, larger book haul that you'll see later in the month. Oh dear. Bye! Do you think I could just bin off the rest of my work day and start reading them? <laughs>